वेलकम व्यूअर वेलकम टू आवर फोर्स एक्टिव यार इस ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ यस टीनी एरिया ऑफ ब्रेन में भी इंजन ऑफ कॉन्शसनेस लेट्स स्टडी आवर टुडेस बुलेटिन साइंटिस्ट इलेक्ट्रिकली स्टिमुलेटेड द ब्रेन्स ऑफ मैकाओ मंकी सीन एन एफर्ट टू डिटरमाइन व्हिच एरियाज आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर ड्राइविंग कॉन्शसनेस द मंकीज वर एस्थेसाइज्ड एंड द गोल वाज टू सी वेदर एक्टिवेटिंग सर्टेन पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन वुड वेक अप the animals the for brain central lateral thalamus seems to be one of the minimum mechanism necessary for new research suggests a tiny part of the brain plays a key role in enabling consciousness the findings might some day be used to bring people out of comas treat consciousness disorders to ensure patients stay and exercise during intensive procedures past research has suggests that certain brain areas like partial cortex and thalamus are critical to consciousness in the new study published wednesday in neuron a team of scientists used electrodes to stimulate various parts of the brains of two macaw monkeys macaw brains closely mirror human brains making them an ideal model for studying the drivers of consciousness the team electrically stimulated the monkey's brain as the animals who are awake asleep and and exercised but unlike past research they recorded activity from multiple brain areas simultaneously in an effort to pinpoint which parts are driving we decided to go beyond the classical approach for record from one area at a time senior author yuri salaman an assistant professor at the university of wisconsin Madison told Cell Press we recorded from multiple areas at the same time to see how the entire network behaves the goal was to identify the minimum mechanisms necessary to produce consciousness to do that the researchers tested whether stimulating certain parts of the brain would cause the monkeys to wake up from the anesthesia the electrodes were especially designed to mimic the kind of brain activity that monkeys show during a wakeful state this allowed us to directly manipulate consciousness and record changes in communication and information flow with a very high degree of spatial and temporal specificity study co-author michael redenberg research at the university of wisconsin madison said in viewers when the team electrically stimulated a part of the brain called the central lateral thalamus located in the for brain the monkeys woke up they opened their eyes blinked reached out made facial expression and showed altered vital signs we found that when we stimulated this tiny little brain area we could wake the animals up and reinstate all the neural activity that you had normally see in the cortex during wakefulness salaman told cell phrase they acted just as they would if they were awake when we switched off the stimulation the animals went straight back to being unconscious guys this area of the brain may function as an engine of consciousness redenberg told inverse although past studies have shown that electrical stimulation can arouse the brain of humans and animals the new findings are unique because they reveal which specific neural interaction appear to be minimally necessary for consciousness science does not open leap opportunity for acceleration but that's what that the moment was like for those of us who were in the room reading back toll the team said the findings could have many application down the road but more research is needed the overriding motivation of this research is to help people with disorder of consciousness to live better lives redenmark told cell press we have to start by understanding the minimum mechanism that is necessary or sufficient for consciousness so that the correct part of the brain can be targeted clinically it is possible we may be able to use this kind of deep brain stimulating electrodes to bring people out of commerce our findings may also be useful for developing new ways to monitor patients under cl- clinical anesthesia to make sure they were safely unconscious beyond the effort positive